Hello guys, Tune here back again. Well, I'm going to do a video on controllers. I've been thinking about doing this for a little while. And this is going to be a video on retro controllers or brand new retro controllers that could be used on retro um, consoles like Mega Drive, SNES, you know, that type of thing. Or could be used on things like um, your uh, Raspberry Pi retro builds, your, um, you know, little retro consoles you buy off AliExpress or whatever. Uh, PC, Mr. Uh, Evercade, all that type of stuff. Uh, and this video is going to be the controllers that I bought and the controllers that I actually use. And I'm going to tell you out of the pile you can see in front of you, which is my favourite retro controller, which I've been using for a very long time out of all these, and I still come back to it all the time. So I, I want, I, I got some various ones here. As you can see, a lot of them are 8 bit dough ones, funny enough. Um, one thing I will say about 8 bit dough, they do make a quality controller, but it's not. There, there was one I bought I didn't like, which was the original SNES uh, wireless controller they made. Uh, the D-pad was terrible on it, uh, and I got rid of it. But since then, everything they've done is, is very good, very high quality. Uh, and there's a few retro bit controllers in here as well, and some brook adapters, uh, as you can see. So I'll, I'll go through them one by one, and I'll give you my thoughts on them, and I'll tell you what I'm actually using it for. And um, what I think of the D-pad, and because that's primarily what you're going to use for retro gaming, basically, and how well the sticks work on, say, like N64 or um, twin stick arcade games, that type of stuff. So, I think we'll start with let's start with the 8-bit dough. This is the um, SN30 Pro. Um, I've got two of these. These have got analog sticks on them. Uh, they're a nice size analog stick, as you can probably see. They're very similar size to a standard analog stick you get on a standard pad, which is what I like. Um, this pad, obviously it's in the SNES style, but you've got some uh, extra buttons on the top as well. You've got paddles, uh, you've got the sticks. Um, the D-pad on this is very nice. It's a, it's a decent D-pad, it's pretty good. Um, I bought this primarily just to use on the Mister. I, I've got two Misters and I've got two of these controllers. Uh, reason being, twin stick arcade games. Uh, very good on um, analog sticks so that's pretty much what i'm using it for or snes layout I, I will explain this like if i pick up the um uh, which one's this this is the m30 you've got the button layout i don't know if you can see the button layout the m30 is like the mega drive layout which is which is good it, it does the job but when it comes to playing snes games it's not ideal reason being snes games are meant to have fun like this sort of direction and because of where you put your thumb in it, you do end up hitting this button a lot. So for SNES games, it's not the best. But this this is perfect for SNES games. This is another thing I use it for. Because the button layout is SNES, which works really good for SNES games. And the same with the uh, bumpers. I say this is uh, a very nice controller. Very nicely made. Um, you can get a wireless version as well. This is the wired version. Um, I recommend this one if you're after something with analog sticks and really good for twin stick stuff on the Mister or on the arcade. Uh, nice controller, well worth picking up. So we'll put that to the side. Um, all right, we'll go with this one then. So this is the M30. This is the Mega Drive variant. You can get a Mega Drive Mini variant, which is the one you want to get, to be honest. Um, this comes with a dongle that plugs in the Mega Drive, and you can play pretty wireless, or you can just, oops, as I drop it, or it's pretty tough this stick, this uh, pad as well, um, or you can plug it into USB, and you can use it on the Mister PC, which I do use this on the Mister all the time. I use it on the PC a lot as well, um, and it'll work on like the PlayStation Mini or anything USB essentially, because um, this is X input. And there is a button combination you can change it to D input, which is in that's quite important. Same with this one as well. All, all the 8 bit dough ones are pretty much the same. So, X input is your um, Xbox P, standard PC type input, Xbox 360, that type of thing, uh, which makes this pretty much compatible with everything on the PC. Um, there is a combination as well to change the D pad to the left analog stick if needed, because uh, sometimes you can't use the D pad and you want to just swap it over. Um, so yeah, very nice pad as well. It's got the buttons on the top. It's very ergonomic. It's very comfortable to use. And this thing has probably the best D-pad I've ever come across on a, on a controller. Very good D-pad indeed. It's 
super precise it's very soft pivots fantastic uh, buttons are good i suppose you've got the satin dimple sort of nipple type buttons on the top um which had a little bit of i wish there was these buttons but you know you can live with them it doesn't really make much difference when you're playing it so that's the m30 um this is a i have done a review with this lately this is the neo geo one uh this is also a very nice controller a replica of the original neo geo one except for a lot of people don't mention it it has a hell of a lot more throw than the original neo geo one uh, a lot of people need to say these are exactly the same as the neo geo they're not exactly they the buttons feel very similar but like i said the throw is the difference um i've been using this controller a lot since i've had it I, i've pretty much got it plugged up to the mister you can be you should say this is DV input and X input as well, so you can plug it up to PC and it, it works for all those retro consoles as well. Um, you can get a wireless adapter for this, so you can use it on the Neo Geo, which uh, is very nice. So it's a good replacement to your Neo Geo um, controllers. The After using this for quite a while, the one thing I will say, the extra throw on this, I think I prefer the shorter throw with the original Neo Geo ones. Um, you do have to you know your thumb does move quite a distance it's it's not a problem but um sometimes it can be a little no, not awkward i'll say sometimes to be super fast in this because of the distance sometimes you can miss out on a few things but apart from that it's a very nice controller uh very nice indeed so also very good uh for your retro gaming uh definitely if you fancy the look of this one worth picking up but just remember there's only four face buttons and uh, two bumper buttons where Oh, see, this is four face buttons, but this one comes with a six and the two bumpers. Very good controller. The other one we'll go to, this is an old one, which I picked up a long time ago. Uh, this is a PS, uh, PS4 to um, 360 Brook adapter. Um, I say 360, essentially retro these days. Uh, so basically, if you've got um, any PS4 pads, joysticks, anything like that, you can plug them into your 360 and you can use them on there. Also incredibly handy for converting um, Xbox, uh, sorry, PlayStation pads to PC because PlayStation pads use D input, and when it comes to PC games, they're not very supported to be honest. But uh, some are, some are not. Like, but um, it, it's quite good at converting to that. They do have an Xbox One version as well, which will do the same thing basically. I've got that one as well. Um, so these these are handy. Brook do the these USB adapters. For various consoles they also do as i'll go beyond they do the retro adapters as well i say this one is a neo geo one uh this will convert any usb ps4 xbox ah, ps4 this one is uh, any ps4 pads or um, joysticks to neo geo uh, very handy you can also <laughs> what's super handy about this is if you've got the brook adapter you know the brook ultimate fighting board if you've got the Brook Ultimate fighting board, you you can basically daisy chain this into the Neo Geo. So if you've got that set up at an arcade stick, you can basically use this to play it on the Neo Geo. Same with the um, what's it the the Pico Pie fighting boards. You can still you can use this as well with them. So if you if you've got a joystick you've set up with either a Brook or the Pico Pie stuff, you can buy one of these and you can use it on a Neo Geo is very handy uh, this is also wireless as well so you can use wireless um ps4 pads on your neo geo as well very handy adapter I, I i think it goes for about 40 odd quid i think these ones i think this was about 30. i say the prices of pads i think these have gone up the neo geo ones were 35 dollars but i think they're about 40 now these ones do range between about 25 and I think these, the wired ones of these are about 20, 22, which is pretty cheap. And the wireless ones are about 30, 35, I think. So yeah, for a Neo Geo, if you want to use some modern controllers, it's very good. You can change the buttons around and do button mappings and stuff with this as well, which is very nice. So we'll slot that in there. Also, Brooke, I've got some other adapters. This is one of the other ones. This is the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast adapter. So basically, same thing as with the Neo Geo one. You can use any type of pads, um, wireless or whatever. Uh, modern pads, PS4. This one, I think, does um, Xbox pads and everything as well. And you can connect this and you can use them on your Dreamcast or your Saturn. Um, same goes with the other Brook adapter. You can daisy chain this to the, for the um, Ultimate Fight board and the Pico Fight board as well. 
So that's also worth thinking about if you've got one of these consoles, especially when it comes to the Saturn with uh, the amount of cool arcade games and 2D games the Saturn have got. So I think this was about 40, but it's uh, well worth picking up. So let's go to this one then. This is a more modern one. It's come out lately. Uh, this, I can't remember what this one is now. This is the Ikbido. I can't remember what model number it is. It's the 8-bit Do Ultimate Pad. I'm not sure the exact model number. I got the same with the other one by here. Um, this is, I bought this primarily for the PC. Um, I don't mind the Xbox layout, but I do prefer the PlayStation layout when it comes to sticks. It just, you know, feels more natural, essentially, other than going like that. But, you know, it, it works fine anyway, and the D-pad's better on the PlayStation ones up here. Uh, apart from that, this is a really good replacement for your PC. It can be used USB-C to your PC, or it can use it comes with like a wireless docking station. Um, this will basically plug into the Mister and uh, the Evercade and various other things as well, and all your Raspberry Pis and everything. So you can use the D-pad. It has a very nice D-pad, indeed. The, the D-pad is lovely on this, but it. It's in a more awkward place to use it, where it's more comfortable there, if you know what I mean. But it's fine. Uh, you've got your four face buttons, and you've got your triggers, and you've got profiles and various other things. Um, if you're after a PC pad, it's also got the paddles underneath. If you're, as if you're after a PC joypad that uh, will work for emulators, PC games, X you know, your uh, Game Pass, Steam, and it's pretty much compatible with everything out there, I would say this is a pretty good shout. I, I used to recommend the original Xbox 360 pads, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna move to this. The um the the 2.4 gigahertz, which is what this one is, the ultimate pad. If you're after a really good all rounder for the PC, I think this is a nice pad. Um, it's nicely textured, feels nice. It's got nice sticks on it as well, and nice and clicky. And like I said, it's wireless and everything as well. Works perfect on the PC. And also works really good on your little retro sort of uh, consoles as well. I say, while we get to that, we'll get to the other ultimate one. This is the Bluetooth version. Uh, this is primarily meant for Switch. So there's uh, a little Bluetooth and um, 2.4 gigahertz thing in the back. Same with this one. So it comes with a little dongle you can plug in. Um, this one you can you can put on the switch. You can use it for all your. You can use it basically as a switch controller and everything. Works on the PC the same as this one. Uh, got a very nice D-pad as well. This one supposedly got um, hall sticks in it, but they feel exactly the same as M sticks, so I'm not quite sure. Um, the only the only thing I would say this when it comes to the Evercade, uh, a lot of, there's a lot of talk. This one works on the Evercade. And you can you can configure the 2.4 gigahertz version, but this the switch version doesn't. It doesn't work. I don't know why. Even though you can switch it from switch to Bluetooth or whatever, it doesn't work even with the dongle. But um, yeah, so if you've got a Nintendo Switch, this is a really good alternative as well. Very nicely made pad as well. Feels premium to be honest, and uh, good D-pad. But not quite as compatible with retro machines as I would say is the black one. But you do get the option using it on Switch. And it, it natively syncs to the Switch as well, which is really good. So that's the more modern ones you can use on modern consoles. Um, right, we'll go to the retro bit stuff now. This is the retro bit controller. This is what model number is this? Uh, sorry, guys, I can't really see what model number it is. Is it on there? You could probably see it on there. Uh, pretty much, this is the SNES-inspired one uh, with the analog sticks. Uh, these got little nubby analog sticks, which do work fair play. They do work pretty good, but there's not much play on them, so you got it, they're a little bit more sensitive than say this one. This is why I ended up picking this one up. Um, the D-pad, I would say, is better on this one than the original on that one. It's slightly nicer D-pad, and it's the SNES layout. I bought this primarily to use on the um, on the Mister for twin stick and SNES games but this one you can use you can use wired if you want to but it comes with uh, two dongles it comes with a, a dongle for the PC which is this one here so it comes with a PC dongles and also you can use this on um, your retro consoles and you know I haven't tried this one on the Evercade actually uh, and it works on Mister and all that with the, with the dongle and uh, the other thing it comes with, it comes with a wireless SNES dongle as well. 
So if you want a really good SNES replacement controller that you can use on other things, this is a pretty good shout because um, it works lovely on the um, SNES wireless. Uh, nice control. The RetroBit controllers are very nice as well. Um, this one's got your know, extra paddles and stuff, and they feel good, and they got good buttons. And uh, you can get these in the UK now. I ordered this from America when they first came out. But yeah, recommended controller as well. If you want something that works on the SNES, but then you want to use it on something else, this ain't a bad shout either to go for because you get that wireless dongle for the SNES. So the, these are good as well. Uh, the other one is the Retrobit Saturn controllers. I've also had the Retrobit Mega Drive controllers, uh, which are also very good actually. They're very, you know, they're pretty much perfect Mega Drive 6 controllers. One problem with these though, the the Gen 1 versions, uh, they're the ones with the fancy boxes. They got like the fancy blue boxes and stuff. Uh, the trigger buttons, uh, they break. They break on the Gen 1 versions. I've had three versions of the Gen 1s and all the shoulder buttons have broken on every one of them. So, unfortunately, if you do want to buy one of these, do not buy the Gen 1. Make sure you get the Gen 2. And the Gen 2 has got the plain sort of white boxes. This is a Gen 2 pad. And I, I've been using this uh, a lot on everything. And none of the, um, none of the micro switches are broken. I did get hold of... Um, Retrobit or whatever it is. Is it Retrobit on these? Yeah, Retrobit. I did get hold of these in America and said about the buttons and they were going to send me one, but they never did, basically, which was a shame. And I give up speaking to them then in the end. But yeah, the, the version two, the version sort of two, the uh, controllers are good. I think they've changed the buttons on the top and they're quite nice. Uh, this one also has an exceptional D-pad. It's, it's pretty much on par with the D-pad in this one. Uh, it's your Mega Drive 6 controller D-pad. Uh, it feels fantastic. This is the satin layout, which is very similar to that one, as you can see. Um, I can I bought this to use on Switch for 2D games on the Switch, and it, um, that's pretty much what I'm using it for. And it, it comes with uh, a little dongle, which you, I'm just plugging it in to the dock, basically, uh, USB, and I use it on Switch. Um, you can use this on anything really, but I don't think the USB works as a pad. I think it's just a charging port. Um, the other thing about these pads is, it's got a bit pretty sticky crap on it. That's great. Nice. Don't know where that came from. Anyway, um, the other thing with these pads as well is you've got to you've got to do a button combination to turn them off. Otherwise, when you turn them on, they they stay on for ages and then the battery runs out. But if you do the button combination, which I can't remember now what it is, um, you can actually turn the pad off. So yeah, this is very ergonomic, feels stunning, amazing for Mister your retro consoles. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works on the Evercade as well. Or did I try it? No, don't don't quote me on that one. I don't think I've tried it on the Evercade. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll work on all your retro consoles. It'll work on your Raspberry Pis and stuff. And this is a well recommended pad. But remember, stay away from Gen One. So. Out of all these uh, joy pads and everything we've got here, sorry for the camera moving, my chair's up against it. Um, out of all these retro pads here, what would I say is my most used uh, pad out of them all? Um, if I if I was gonna if I was gonna rate them in sort of order, I would say that probably for I'll exclude these ones out of it because these are more like modern type retro ones. But even though they, they do work fine. I would probably, for 2D retro gaming, I would probably put these at the end. That's not a bad thing, mind. Um, probably I would, I would I'd go with the same with the the converters, because you're going to use modern pads and stuff on the converters. So I would, brilliant as they are, I'd put them at uh, sort of last. Then I would probably check this one in next, which is a very nice pad indeed, a pretty good all-rounder. Uh, my next one would probably be the uh, maybe the Neo Geo one. Uh, brilliant pad, really good. If you like that clicky sort of uh, pad, well worth picking up. Just remember there is a bit more travel than the original Neo Geo one. But very good retro pad, works pretty good on everything. My next one would be this. It's the this next one. Uh, nice pad, pretty much compatible with everything. Great for Mr. All that type of thing. 
my second best pad, I would say, was probably this, the second gen version of the Retrobit satin pad. The Mega Drive pad, I would put it in here as well, but it, it could be a little bit awkward pressing the buttons on the Mega Drive one. Same with, same with this. SNES layout, no good for SNES layout, uh, layout unfortunately, not, unless you use it this way. But yeah, not great for SNES, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I'd put this second because the D-pad is fantastic on this. They really, so, you know, Sega knew how to make a D-pad years ago, and this is like a perfect replica of the Sega D-pad. Uh, the six button pads, it's, it's a stunning pad. But overall, I would say that my favorite retro pad uh, for everything is this is the um, 8-bit do m30 2.4 uh, gigahertz um, like i said if you i would hand these down if you can find one of them they don't cost they're about 20 or quid but you want the um the sega the mini version uh, because then you get the um, usb dongle which you can plug in all your you know your misters and your retro consoles and stuff you can use it wired on the pc you can use it wire wireless on the pc it works fantastic with mame the d-pad is amazing on this uh, the buttons are really good but i say the one downside is it doesn't really work for snes games unfortunately um it's got auto fire so all these eight bit dough ones as well have got auto fire built in you all down star and press a button and there's auto fire the only downside to that is um, it's a set auto fire, so you can't change the rate on it. But I'm not sure if you can do it on these ones because it is like a, a PC program. You might be able to change it on these ones, but it's super handy having an auto fire on it. But I would say for retro gaming, Mr. Gaming, arcade gaming, emulators, you know, anything that doesn't require um, an analog stick. This is my go-to pad. I think this is pretty much the best retro gaming uh, joypad out there. The other sometimes as well, sometimes you can't configure this button. Uh, on the Mister, I think that may be like a select button. The same on the, um, it can be the same on the Evercade sometimes. I don't know why, I think these buttons, the select and this one might be like joined. Uh, but with the six face buttons, it doesn't really matter. And that's always handy as an extra button. But yep, this is definitely my recommendation for the best retro gaming um, D-pad and joypad money can buy. And fully compatible with pretty much just about everything. As long as you don't mind using wired or wireless, whichever way you want to do it. I use this wired on the mister and everything. And um, I don't tend to use the, wired, the wireless that often. I, I have bought, I've got about three of these. I got one spare one brand new in a box which I bought because uh, they're getting a bit tricky to get hold of. But luckily enough, 8 bit Doe have just released a white version of this, which I wouldn't mind picking up, to be honest. Um, yeah, and that's, that works on the minis as well, so it comes with the USB dongle. So there you go, guys. This is basically all the modern retro gaming joypads that I've got, and I recommend this is the best one worth buying. So anyway, cheers, guys, and I will catch you around. Bye now.